Hello Virgo and cross watchers alike. This is your mid-September to October read of this current year, 2019. Yay! How are you doing, my dear, dear viewers? Virgo, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts if this doesn't resonate with you. No big deal, it's just a card game after all. Remember, it won't work if you don't believe it. It just boop your nose and away we goes, right? Thank you to everybody who watches, subscribes, gets readings from me. I greatly appreciate it from you all. Newcomers, if you want a personal reading, all the information is down in the description box below. First readings on the house and everything else comes with the price, of course. And I do accept tips and donations. Virgo! Okay, so, you know, guys, you have been dealing with, like, what feels like a water sign or someone with a lot of water in their charts, or it could be you, but it's like, I don't know, it's always, it, it, it keeps being like, someone's just nipping at your heels and you're starting to get to that point. <clears throat> like, your sarcasm's starting not to work as effectively as it used to, so now it's like you gotta resort to being a dick. You know, one of those things, right? Uh, that might not work. I don't know why, I just feel like I should tell you that. Cause like, it, that almost feels like it's really important. The Eight of Pentacles reverse with the King of Swords reverse. Okay, so maybe coming off, um, be careful with what you say. You know? Also, cross watchers, switch where you need to, you know, take what's yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt. Right? Right. Oh, for anyone wondering, I finally got flea meds from my kitty, so they are happy now, as I am happy. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh. And I got a cough. But that's what happens when it starts switching over. Ugh. Anyway, let's see. This is the thoughts and feelings right here, which is the Princess of Wands. She's come out the travel, sing some praises, be all happy and stuff, but it's like... Okay, she might... There might be a thought or a feeling, or someone has that thought or feeling of, like, wanting to send a message. And the root of that is because, like, some sort of... Like, there was some relationship that was, like, really important, but it made someone forget, like, how valuable they were themselves. They held, they held the um, relationship to a higher standard than what they should have, I feel like. Okay. It's coming up. Five of Wands. Reverse. Trying to come out of that conflict. Trying to kill the final boss off of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You know, I know people talk a lot about those, like, kind of series, but I loved them. It was just like, yee. I loved it. It was all exciting. Ah. Five of Swords. Someone's feeling a little betrayed still. Yeah, focus too much on this, kind of got them hurt, and now they're trying to, I don't know, do something different or something. Mm -mm -mm. Full reverse, not trying to take a leap of faith back to this situation. You might just go to this situation. But I'm just saying, like, be really careful with what you say. I feel like even if you were to come out like respectfully with what you see or what you're trying to spill as truth, I feel like, you know, that could come against you. Vibration is Seven of Swords. You or your person, Virgo, or Cross Watchers, or whoever's watching, you know. Take your pick what you are. Let's see. There seems like there's a lot of potential here. But it's like, even when the conflict's over, there's still this whole, like, mental recollection of just the bad things that happened, and that's why it's not going to work as well. 
like the vibration right here, like the seven of swords, like someone's just looking around like there's secrets, there's snakes, there's swords in a big ass box. Trying to get somewhere. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. It isn't gonna work, but that might be a bad judgment call. Someone might not be seeing things for what they are. Which is like things are moving in a different cycle. So whatever it is you or this person might be working on, Virgo, it, 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 it. you're putting your energy into something, yes, but it might not be in the wheel's direction. Yeah, it's, it, like the wheel's trying to help, like, okay. It seems like stuff is not working right now for you. Because you're not seeing things for how it is, which is like the Wheel of Fortune is turning so to avoid a tower moment. Possibly in yours or this person's favor. Knight of Swords. Could be an Aquarius for sure. Also Libra or Gemini since the King's right there. Um, possibly not reaching heaven. Imperian, Celestial. Might not be any sort of communication that'll bring any sort of like... Like, I don't want to say comfort, because I wouldn't say that, but something more um, precious. Like, if you made a sacred space, you hold that space very valuable, you know? No communications, but that's because there's still a lot of delusions and lunacy. The moon's, like, affecting things. Pisces or Cancer's energy. Ooh. Quite a few came out. There could be a... Sagittarius Leo Aries involved with this. Queen of Wands, theorizing, calculating, um, how to not let things end the way that they, uh, I would think, respectively would. Scorpio's card right here, reverse. Uh, they might be trying to gather their endurance and fortitude, or this could be you, in order to come out of this distress and confusion. Um, because the world is just not whole at this point like something's missing like maybe there is like something like maybe that's why you feel like there like things aren't working out for you you might be at that phase where um the universe is putting in a time out maybe just so you can like calm down and think clearly you know You know, sometimes we as human beings get so defensive that, like, we kind of lose our shit and don't see what we could have done or would have done. Or maybe we just need a nap sometimes. Um, there is going to be messages of quick change, though. Uh... But I don't think you see anything working with some sort of twin soul, reverence, the lover situation, possibly J Gemini involved here. You don't see something working out. You just, you can't picture it in your head. Kinda. Let's see, what else? Queen of Swords, reverse. Hmm. That's the, um... That's the counterpart to the King of Swords, and it's kind of like, hmm. This music is like so dramatic today. Okay. That is way less dramatic. <laughs> okay, so let's see, right? With this, like, King of Swords right here, like, I always like to say that the King of Swords likes to stand in his truth to let people know, like, you know, what he sees, what he thinks. He, like, tells it how it is. He's not calling it as he sees it. He's not being very cruel with it either. Um, but it's like there's no communication here um, because there's still some, like, sh there, there's a little bit of shade with this moon, you know, you, you really can't see the moon and it's spectacular. How, and, and like, okay, I'm just talking nonsense, you know. Um, you really can't see the moon because these birds are obscuring it, and one of them's her. Trying to be elusive and mystical, but she is not. She might feel like a woman scored. She might feel like she's lost her mind. 
She probably has lost her mind, honestly, but you know, you never know. Anyway. I'm going to lay one card down for each of these because with the other ones, it seemed like it was more of a mess and it confused me a little bit. Plus, I'm going to start doing it that way with the after tarot deck. So. Let's see. For this Eight of Pentacles, right? All this is resulting in, like, still nobody really writing in to talk about, like, really this situation and this right here. And down here at the King of Swords, yeah, the world's a bit funky. At least somebody feeling like they don't want to fight to communicate at all since nothing's like really working. But it's still a lot like, you know, um, they, they, they don't have the right, either they don't have the right judgment or they don't want to try to resurrect something. Like they don't want to awaken it or have the metamorphosis to change things. Because I feel like they might have done this already so many times before with the Eight of Pentacles, you know. And plus, they could also feel as though, um this querent right here that like they've already invested so much and it ended up badly do you really want to look over this stuff and see what went wrong in order to try it again or is that really worth your time and energy it's something you need to think about you know this king of swords right here possibly feels like there is unfinished business and wants to communicate or maybe he doesn't want to communicate either way there's no communication going like, this is just like, a, a, like an open loop right here. There's still a lot of unfinished business between you and this Queen of Swords. Or vice versa, you know. Okay, Princess of Wands, right? Thoughts and feelings. She is, um, she's expressive, vocal, young, chipper, ready to go on an adventure. Here you are, Virgo, King of Coin, dedicated adamant, looking like you just woke up from a nap. Like, that's, like, literally, if, like, he was my cat, like, and I surprised him, you know? That's what my cat would look like, with me waking him up like an asshole. Just me like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> But there you are, being all calm and dedicated. It could also be a Capricorn or a Taurus as well. Ah, okay, were you doing a little bit of the control freak thing, or did someone come in, did a bird come in and try to snatch you up from your nap because they thought you were, like, just the right size, like, you looked a little big, but it, it wasn't entirely sure, but it hadn't done anything all day, and it just woke it up, it was wired, it was ready to go, it'd be like, fuck yeah, I can pick up this fucking tiger, Cause like, the tiger just well, looks like it woke up all surprised and here comes like, it, a, an owl screaming like an eagle. Like, Gah! Just trying to come in for the kill. The Emperor Reverse. Overlord. Supremacy. Okay, like the King of Swords is out here too. Usually I assume that they're the same person. Um, ew. This is coming after you because there's no love? Ew, Virgo. Like, this person just needs to, like, get a life if that's the case. Or vice versa. Maybe you feel like you went a little bit more of the control freak route. And that's how you lost your love as well. But I don't feel like that's the case. Um, this four of pentacles right here, the root of it all, right? It's like, like I said earlier, like someone just like gave too much to the relationship and not enough of themselves. The relationship became golden, but they became silver and that created a lot of insecurities, I feel like. And not like the ones that people feel like, you know, like I, I'm really scared of not having a boyfriend. More like, you know, like... Who am I going to take care of now? Like, what am I supposed to do? It's like a computer that's completed all its tasks. Like, well, it, it, it doesn't have the ability sometimes to think of some new tasks to create. And when we get stuck in the same routine, we do the exact same thing, right? Uh, no victory in this. There needs to be a little bit of balance with a king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. 
I feel like... Virgo, you might be noticing, like, how you really didn't have what you thought that you did. Like, you were looking for some sort of victory, but you were. You were hoping that the person, I feel like, felt the same as you with the two of swords with poise and symmetry. Like, it would be equal. But it's also like, now you're using your emotions as a diviner or sage. Night or not night, King of Cups right here to just, you know, figure out where your emotions are at all. It's like you used your emotions to figure out, like, the situation wasn't as fair as it should have been. You know, King of Swords and the Ace of Swords reverse. You could be coming and trying to, like, find out the truth about, like, stuff, but you also could have a lack of clarity, or that could be the person you're dealing with as well. Whichever way you want to look at it, really. This princess is wands. What is up with her? She has no idea where she's going. Like, she wants to go, but she has no idea where she's going, right? And, like, this four of pentacles reverse right here, where someone's, like, noticing all these insecurities. They're looking over at it, trying to figure some stuff out. Like, okay. Now, this happened, and this one's still a little bit more round, but, like, this one looks like it could almost be rape. It's like they're sitting there still wondering if they should, um, collect what's here after looking over everything, or if they should continue to just leave it. That's why they're just, like, going up here being like, I'm leaving it. But then it's just like, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's like that Ace of Cups reverse up here. It's like the Emperor just poured the cup right over the kitty's head. And that's why he looks all surprised. And then it was just like, I'm leaving because Knight or Page of Wands is sometimes impulsive, too. But it's like, once you left, where did you go? Where did you come from? Hot night. Oh, sorry. That just came out of nowhere. Okay. Anyway, let's see. The Seven of Swords over here. Someone's leaving with a box of stuff. They're not happy in this situation anymore. Nothing blends or melds together. Um, and they need to recover from a lot of the stuff that went down. Because they feel the stress and confusion. Five of Swords, once again, but it's up right here. This is definitely a memory. Or a recollection of sorts. Because, like, the chick right here is misty. It's not like it's happening now. It happened before. And it just keeps coming back, that's all. It's like, okay. It's like, um... If this was someone going through a meat factory, and these swords are on this side, right, and the machines move in this way, it's like someone's moved from the past to the future, but they gotta go through the swords in order to do it, and that requires them going through the swords numerous times, until it no longer bothers them anymore. That's what it kind of feels like with that. Okay. Yeah, someone's kind of wasting time carrying around all the snakes and the baggage and such. Or they're trying to look like a martyr, one of the two. Okay. Alright, Virgo. So. Five of Wands reverse. Someone's trying to get out of these arguments or battles or fights. Someone wants a treaty, I think. I guess a better way of putting it because everybody's fighting everybody. It's like when everyone was arguing about the Baltics or the Balkans or whatever they were called. I can't remember what they were called, but everyone was arguing about it. About who controlled what, I reckon. We got Temperance Reverse. Fusion Chemistry. It is not. These birds are not flowing in synchronization. They are actually like just kind of hitting each other and then falling out of the sky. <laughs> You know, just floppity flop. Wishes and desires. Mm. I want to say it's a wish with hubris, but it's not exactly. It's like, um.
last resort almost. You know, you guys don't mesh together anymore, but you still made the wish even they even though you didn't want to because you didn't want stuff to die almost. Hmm. Five of Swords, Reverse. What's to happen? Uh, could have been dealing with a Leo when it came to this like whole scenario where someone just repeatedly stabbed you at least five times. If more, well, then they really meant it. Let's see. Someone was not happy. And they did not deliver that expression or message about that because they felt like they didn't have the stamina or potency to actually deliver it. It's like... Mm. It was like a time when you really felt powerless. And it was like no matter what you said, it, like, it wouldn't matter. You just get the door slammed in your face or something like that. Which is really unfortunate. Like you get shut down or something. So you just never even bothered anymore? Okay. Lack of taking that leap of faith with the Sacred Clown or the Fool traditionally reverse. Endurance. Persevere. You're trying to, um... You're holding yourself up with that fight. You are a raccoon who can pretend to be rabbit at any time. And you will use that power if necessary. You got some Alka-Seltzer in your pocket, all you have to do is shove it in your cheeks and just go, and you're good. <coughs> um, yeah, because, like, you might not feel like you're really strong enough to deal with that, Leo, once again. Um, endurance and fortitude you might not have. So you gotta, like, pretend you got, like, Alka-Seltzer rabies for a minute in order to get someone away from you, because you don't want to take the leap of faith. Um, hmm. Or, hmm. I think you're scared of like leaving. I think you're trying to hold yourself up because you feel like you don't have the strength to entirely leave. At least not without, like, running your mouth a little bit, because this is the mouth card when reversed. Um, which I completely understand, you know. Okay, up here we have Four of Swords reversed. Feels like you can't get any rest from any of this deal, right? Ah, Five of Swords reverse. We got the Queen of Cups. Like, okay, Virgo, I know like you're the type who really don't like getting into emotions or whatever, but it's like you're just sitting there staring at your cup with a lid on it, being mad that, like, you don't know how to open the cup when all you have to do is lift the lid up. Like, you could share your feelings. No one is going to be upset with you. Okay. Final card, that leap of faith that's not being taken. Oh, because you're comfortable. That's pretty much what that is. Like, it's like you don't trust yourself because you're too comfortable where you're at. That's never good. Like, that's like, that was, like, the first thing I felt, though, is, like, comfortable. I don't know if that makes sense for everybody, but, you know, that's the way we're going. But, Virgo, that is the read I've got for you this cycle. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, you can like, share, and subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, it's up to you, but, no. I'd greatly appreciate it. I will see y'all later, though. Love your faces. Bye-bye.